Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on how to make a car in Autodesk Fusion 360. So thank you so much for the support everybody. This is the second time I'm doing a second video in one week. Um, we did one uh, YouTube live session on Monday, which was the Daso 6X model. The model is complete in terms of the uh, infusion, but it's not yet been 3D printed, but I will keep you guys updated on that. Uh, the month of August is also coming, which means we are going to start our Patreon project. Uh, hopefully next week I'll be announcing with a formal video, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. Number three is that our YouTube subscribers are growing and we have now reached around 3,200 subscribers, which is very, very nice. Thank you very much for your support. Um, again, we are trying to reach 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. So fingers crossed, let's do it all together. All right, let's get cracking with this video. So in the previous video, we reached this point where we had sort of finished the front side and it was a bit tricky but we managed to make this really nice surface here and also this surface over here. So in this video, what I want to do is add a little bit more detail to this front surface before we then move on to the side view in the next video. So adding details to this is, um, it's quite fun because you get to see the car taking a little bit more personality. Uh, and the, the way we add surfaces to the side is actually quite straightforward. So the next tutorial should hopefully, fingers crossed, be a, um, be a simpler tutorial. But in this one, let's take some time and, and enjoy the process and understand how we can do this. So um, I want to be working on this section here where there's an air intake and then over here, which is the headlights. And the way I want to deal with this, um, there are actually two ways of doing this and I'll show you both the ways in this tutorial. Um, I'll use one way for the for, for this section here and I'll use the other way for this section here. And you'll see why in certain cases one might be better than the other. Okay, so similar to the aircraft tutorials and similar to how we've been doing some cuts here and there, we're gonna uh, draw a sketch in this profile and then we'll cut it away. So let's do that. So I'll create a sketch on the front plane and then I'm going to draw a few straight lines. And then with those straight lines, I'm going to then fillet them. Alternatively, you can also use a spline and directly add the curves if you want to. But I'm going to go ahead and add a few lines first. So like that, like that, like that. Okay, there we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a few fillets here. So I'm going to make this curve upwards a bit. Press enter. And because now the, radi the radii are different for each of these corners, I am going to choose them separately. So just visually um, trying to match the profile that's underneath in the blueprints. Of course, if you have the proper dimensions, please go ahead and use those. I'm actually looking at a Mercedes outside my window. Um, so it's nice that I'm doing this uh, tutorial while I'm here. Um, okay, so we'll uh, use that sketch now and we're gonna try and trim this away. So we're gonna use the trim tool, which is on the surface panel and it's asking for the trim tool, which in this case is our new line that we've just made. And what we need to do now is you can see that it's created this sort of cutting knife, as you can imagine. And what we want to do is we want to select a surface and whatever surface we do select is the one that gets disappeared. So I'm just going to press the inner one and I'm going to press OK. And you can see now it's taken that surface away from us. So that's really cool. I'm going to now switch off the sketch because we don't need it anymore. Great, and now already we can see that this is starting to take more and more shape. Very nice. Now, this is the part where I was gonna say that there are two ways to do this. And with this particular profile, I'll show you one way. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to go to Create, 
and then I'm going to press ruled. Now in this case, I want to select all of these inner edges that we've just created. Now be mindful in this case, because there are some complex, there's a complex geometry that we've just created out of this, it's possible that you may see, you may think that it won't let you select them. Let me show you an example. So if I do click one here and I click one here, and you can see that when I try and click uh, the next edge, which I think is the next edge, it's not letting me click it. That's most probably because there's an earlier edge that we've not detected. So try and go as close as possible as you can. And you can see there's another smaller edge over here that it wants us to select for. So go ahead and click that again, again. And just to make it a practice, try and select it as close to the uh, one you've just selected. So right there, the next one's going to be somewhere here, somewhere here. And this way, hopefully, you won't be missing any edges and confusing yourself. I've personally struggled with this a lot. Okay, there we go. And now what we can do is, it's going to give us a couple of options, normal, tangent, and direction. In this case, we actually do want it to be normal. And you can see, if you just try pulling this back a bit, what's going to happen. So it's done this really nice um, sort of extrusion, if you like, but in the normal direction to where it's currently facing. Okay, so let's go and press OK. Um, and if you want, we can check out the other options. So tangent won't probably be allowed here. There we go. And neither would direction, because we need to sort of select a direction in order for that to happen. Um, again, no use. But you can try this out in your own time. For now, normal seems to be the best option. So we're going to go ahead and press OK there. Now, how do you actually close this? There's actually a simple way to do that. So create sketch from the front view again. And this time, I want to make sure my 3D sketch is enabled. Grab the line tool. Make sure you select the right point over there and the right point over here. So it's literally just a straight line. And what we're going to do now, for some reason, this line is disappearing for me, but it is there if I select it. So I'm going to um, click on the line. I'm going to press patch. And now I'm going to try and select, again, be very careful with this. You want to be able to select all the edges. I've just tried a couple of times and it wasn't letting me do it. And that's because I kept missing one edge. So just be careful. Um, try and go to the next edge as close as possible, just in case you don't miss anything. So try and follow it along from there to there. The next one is here. 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 And there we go. And now you can go ahead and press OK. So yeah, I was, while doing the tutorial, like it wouldn't let me patch. Um, so I had to figure out the way and it, again, it was actually just an edge issue. Make sure you zoom in uh, right next to where your current edge ends and make sure you select the one right next to it, ensuring that you're actually selecting all the edges because if it's not a closed loop, it won't let you, um, it won't let you patch it. So there we go. That's a nice, uh, little surface we've created there. And now we can try and do the same thing, uh, for the headlight section. So let's do that. Create new sketch, front view. And I'm now going to try, actually, let me disable 3D sketch. So now I need to try and follow the headlights from there. Again, you could just very easily um, use a spline and do it which might actually be easier because it'll just let you select the whole thing right away. Again, be careful while using fillets because you don't want two uh, separate edges overlapping in a fillet and then it sort of causes a bit of an issue uh, to, because you won't be able to find where it's being overlapped. And then you need to zoom into every single edge and trim away things that you don't need. But be gentle with it and you'll be fine. So that's what I'm doing here. 
press finish sketch. Again, let's use the trim tool. Uh, our trim tool is going to be this one. And the one we want to take away is this. And it, you'll notice you also need to take away that surface there because it's part of a separate surface, but we still need to take it away. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and press that as well. And now we can press OK. There we go. And now those are our headlights. We don't need the sketch anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, hide it. I'm going to press Save. Um, and now we're going to follow a similar procedure to what we did here. However, if you now try to use the ruled option, you'll find that you, it's possible that you might not be able to. And let's try it out. So if I try and do ruled here, and I do this one, and then I do this one, and you can see that it's not even letting me select this, right? Now, there are a couple of reasons why. Remember, this is a separate surface from this one. You can even try lofting this in a similar fashion. So in order to do the loft, we are first going to create an offset plane. So let's create an offset plane from here. And we want to sort of take it just behind the eye or the headlights. So I'm just going to maybe somewhere there and I'm going to press OK. And now I want to create a new sketch on this new plane. OK, cool. Um, so what I want to do is I want to project the previous sketch that we created, which is this one. But we can see that again, we have to highlight all of these edges again. So instead of doing that, um, let's finish the sketch for now. Let's go back to our previous sketch where, um, where we created the headlight sketch. Let's drag all of that, press copy, so control C. And then we're going to go back to our new sketch where there's nothing. And now we're going to press control V and we'll finish sketch. So we've essentially just literally just copied the previous sketch, pasted it into the new plane. And if I revolve, you'll see that now they are identical sketches, but now on a different plane. So um, again, there are a few more ways we can do this. So at this point, we can try and loft this together. But again, there will be a problem because these two are separate sketches. So I would, uh, different surfaces, I would encourage you to try lofting this at this point and see what error you get. So it won't let you because it'll, it'll try and take one of these edges with this one, with this edge, and it's going to try and loft them two together. So if I show you a very small example, that edge is still profile one because it's part of the same surface. But now if I take this one, you can see that it's trying to create that as profile two. So the way around this is to actually use the stitching tool. And now we can take these two together and press OK. And now we can start, let me do a quick loft tool here. So this one with this one is still profile one. But now if I do this one, it's still profile one. So that's actually what we want. And at this point, you can try and use the ruled uh, tool again, like we did with the one below. But in this case, I'm actually going to go ahead and loft this together. So what I want to do is I want to create, I want to loft, and I'm going to start selecting the edges on this um, surface first. So let's do that. Okay, so it seems like uh, that sketch is interfering. Um, so just very carefully keep going. So you have profile one, that's it. And now you can go ahead and press the one that we just created and then press OK. And there we go. So it didn't seem like it did anything there, but now you can see that it has. Okay, and to patch this up is now pretty straightforward. You just click on the patch tool and there we go. Okay, seems like it didn't like that, but because it didn't select these ones, let's select that and there we go. Again, if you wanted to stitch these two together, you can absolutely do that. So now we've sort of created a um, 
two pockets as you like. And we used two different methods to do this. We used the ruled and then we also used a loft in separate, uh, in separate ways. And we also learned that if there are two different surfaces here and you try to loft something using them as the same surface, it won't work. You first need to stitch them together, make them into one surface, and then you can do whatever you like with it. So now we can see that this is adding a little bit more personality to the car. And later on, what we can also do is add a little bit more detail here, like I have done with my other cars. You'll see there, they have some uh, lights in them and it, it looks really, really cool. But for now, I'm gonna leave it like this. And if you want in your own time, play around with it and add a bit more detail here. So that's it for this video. In the next one, we're gonna try and focus a little bit more on the side. And that should be, again, hopefully a little bit more straightforward than what we've done today. Today was also a little bit complex, um, but hopefully fun as well, because when we start adding these little details, it starts making the most difference. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Please do like, comment, and subscribe. Very, very much helps out. We have reached 3,200 subscribers. We're aiming to reach 5,000 by the end of this year. So thank you so much for your support. Have a great week, and I will see you soon. Take care.